This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. Tradition heard you. We listened. Now we're offering a true lease purchase program. 2018, 2019 Peterbilt 389s, 13 speed Cummins engine, true ownership within four years. Four years title in hand. No money down, no credit checks. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Recruiter Call channel. And in today's MTC, we're going to be looking at Tradition Transport. Tradition Transport is looking for you guys. If you guys got what it takes to jump on with Tradition Transport, this is what they have to offer. Up to 71 cent CPM, they have benefits, holiday pay, vacation, all the health, dental, and insurance you can eat. 401k company match, performance, safety, rewards, home time based on location, no weight pet and rider policy. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the get the call on. Um uh, had some technical difficulties but it was a good call overall young lady was able to tell me everything i needed to know about the company uh they have a lease purchase program uh but it is a it is a ten thousand dollar balloon payment at the end of the lease they do require you to have at least two years of experience they don't have a sign-on bonus they have weekend home time, which is only a 34 reset. So if you come in Friday, you got to go back out Sunday. And if you come in Saturday, you got to you can go back out on Monday. It is uh, negotiable. They'll work with you on that. Uh, as I said before, about a 34 hour reset, I honestly feel that it is a scam. Okay, don't come after me. I'm just saying. I, I I just feel for a full two days off, like two days. Give me my Saturday and Sunday off. But as we all know, in trucking, it's not always. It's it's not always that way. They are open for lease operator, owner operators, and company drivers. Now, let me break down the company driver. Okay, they say that. Up to 71 cent per mile. That's not what you're going to be starting at. It depends on the type of miles that you be running every week. If you run more than 2,500 miles a week, you can get 61 cent a mile. And there shouldn't be any reason why you wouldn't, especially if you stay in the Midwest region and you do the Southwest uh, lanes. So the Southwest lanes is anywhere between 25 to like 32. So there shouldn't be no reason why you would get the 61 cent per mile. Now, a lot of these companies, not just this one, they, unfortunately, I th what I feel, they don't go on your experience anymore. It, it's pretty much, it's, it's pretty much what your background is and what they're offering when they're going to start you at okay you can have about 10 years 15 years hell even 20 years of experience and you will still start off at like 50 cent a mile 51 cent a mile so it's better be careful that if, when you choose a company and you're good with that company try to stay with that company and grow with it because when you grow with that company, you will grow financially, okay? It's just unfortunate if you had to start over with a company, just expect that you're not, you know, if you already grew into a company that you financially stable at, just know that you're going to start over way at the bottom again, all right? So that's how it's broke down. Uh, it's 51 cent a mile if you do anywhere between under 2,500. 
And nine times out of ten, they have a lane that's going up in the northeast, which I am not a fan of. So you may or may not get, you know, more than 2,500 miles if you do that. Uh, they do have dental. They do have vision, insurance, health, all that good stuff. They got PTO and vacation time and 401k to match. They offer Peterbilt's, Kenworth's, and Freightliner Cascadia's. They are pet friendly and rider friendly. 14 years old. You can bring them out, keep them out there for as long as you want. And last but not least, they are not SAP friendly. So it's unfortunate that if you have something on your FMCSA clearinghouse, they will not accept you. I am so sorry to say that. Um, and as far as uh, urine and drug testing and everything, it is urine. So you don't have to worry about hair follicles. So it is urine, but again, still realize and remember that they don't accept SAP drivers, okay? So thought I'd just let you know so that you can, you know, plan accordingly. Um, let's see, if, if there's anything else that I have left out, I am sorry. Again, the call was great. We just had technical difficulties. I wasn't able to I wasn't able to get this on, but the information is there. You guys could check out the description below if you want to know more about traditional transportation and I believe they they are out of Indiana. Again, they got three lanes. They do have lease options. And owner op options if you want. Oh, I, I I didn't mention my fault, my fault. Uh for leasing, it is 80% of the load. All right. And your expenses would be somewhere around 1500 a week for expenses, maybe two grand. Don't quote me on that. But uh, but you do get paid 80% of the load and again for lease there is a balloon payment of an additional ten thousand dollars if you want to go leasing with traditional transportation six years of existence and they also have uh they also have their divisions are flatbed drive in and reefer so you can have your choice all right y'all that's gonna do it i hope this works out for you again we will probably get you know traditional transportation back on the line in a future episode but with this right here i hope you guys take this use this information for if you want to know a little bit more about traditional tradition transportation the information will be in the description below. Until next time, everybody. Who's next? Who's next?